Okay, so hello and welcome. In this video, we are using TradingView recommendations based on technical indicators and connect that to a crypto live price data stream. So as you see here, this is a script printing out live trade recommendations from TradingView and the current price of a coin. We are also storing the return based on a buy and sell recommendation in a file so that you are able to test it more long term, check out different time intervals and so on. You will need some prerequisites to better follow along. I will link to videos which you will need in the video description. As always, this video is not an investment advice and is for educational purposes only. Okay, let's get started. As you see, I already did some stuff here. All of this was covered in the two previous videos, so please make sure you've watched them beforehand. To recap, I'm setting up a one minute candlestick live price data stream for a list of cryptocurrencies. So whenever I'm executing this line, I'm getting new data from the stream. So now I'm getting AWACS, executing it again, I'm getting ETH, Again, I'm getting Matic, BCH, and so on, right? I'm just getting real-time data for a given symbol. So, of course, I'm getting ETH data again when executing this uh, sometimes, right? So, this is just streaming data for all those symbols, right? So, later on, we will run this in an infinite loop. Before that, we need some functions which are doing some helpful stuff for us. And we are starting with a function which is just providing us a recommendation based on the TradingView TA library. So I'm just calling that get recom, and this is taking a particular symbol. And the goal of this function is simply that I'm getting a trade recommendation from this TradingView TA library. I'm just copy pasting the syntax from the last video, which is using the TA handler here. So I've explained that in the other video. So I'm working with the 30 minute interval here and now I'm just returning the recommendation. So I'm taking output, get analysis, then summary and screen for the recommendation. All right, so let me just show you how this function is working. So if I wanna get the recommendation based on the technical indicators, I'm getting a buy for Bitcoin currently. ETH, I'm getting a buy as well. Cardano, buy as well, and so on, right? So this is just taking a symbol and it's providing us the recommendation from this TradingView TA library, right? The next function is going to write a return based on a buy and sell recommendation from TradingView into a file. Now let's call that file writer. And this is taking data from the data stream and also a return which we will calculate later on. Now this function will be quite hard to understand if you didn't work with the context manager, so the interaction of Python and files and string formatting yet. Let me give you a quick crash course here, but probably it's better if you are looking those things up in case you're not familiar with them. So what do I want to do? I wanna have a string like this and a return like this, right? And I wanna store this string into a file, into a CSV file, right? And when I'm writing into a file, I'm always adding stuff right after the string. So if I have the next symbol, I, wanna get, I would get Cardano and the return of Cardano here, but I wanna get in the next line here, right? So to get in the next line, I have to add the line separator when writing to a file, okay? So no worries, I'm going to show you how uh, it is looking in the file in some seconds. So take that for now. So if I wanna create a comma separated file and I wanna write something to it and get into the next line, I have to take a string like this, okay? Now to create a string like this, I can use placeholders, comma separate them, add the line separator and use format and provide something uh, what I wanna have instead of or for those placeholders here, right? And I'm taking the symbol and the string formatted return. So my return, let's just make up a return here, 2%. So if I'm taking this for, like so, 
I'm getting the string, which I can write into a file. And when I'm writing a new yeah, data point here from the stream into it, so let's say Cardano, I'm getting into the next line. And with that, I can create a CSV and I'm always adding up lines containing the symbol and the respective return, right? So I will, first of all, create a concatenated string using this syntax here. And then I'm just using the context manager with open, open up a CSV file, which is not existent yet. So I can just call that trade CSV SF, and then I'm using that and write a line to that. And I'm going to provide the concatenated string. Okay, now let me just show you how this will work. So if I'm calling that on the data stream and provide my return, I've written a line to this CSV. So if I'm taking pandas read CSV function now on this trade CSV, I would get a line like this, right? And if I'm executing that again now and read in the CSV again, I have the next line. Executing that again, I have the next line and so on, right? This is only possible because I've taken this um, line separator, right? But this is how this function is working, right? So it is taking um, the symbol from the data stream and the calculated return. And we are using that to write down the returns from the trades resulting from buy and sell recommendations from TradingView. Next, I'm going to define a dictionary using the very handy from keys method on my symbols list and set an initial value for each position. So with that, I'm getting a dictionary like this containing my symbols as the keys and a zero as the initial value for each symbol. Now, what I'm going to do or what logic I'm using here is um, whenever I'm getting a buy signal, I'm storing the buy price for that symbol. So if I'm getting for Ethereum or ETH, I'm getting a buy signal. I'm storing the buy price for ETH here in this dictionary. And when I'm getting a sell signal, I'm just taking the current price, subtract the buy price stored in this dictionary and set that also into relation to the buy price to get the relative return, right? So this is the logic I will use when calculating the return. Okay, now let's implement the yeah, the whole logic in an endless loop where we are pulling data from um, the stream. So endless loop, while true, now we are popping data, just copy pasting this, and we have to make sure the data is actually containing data we can work with. So I've explained why I'm doing that in the previous video. In a nutshell, as said, I'm just making sure that we have actually data here when popping from the stream. Now first we are getting our recommendation. So we are calling the re get recom function and provide the current symbol, which is being the data point from the stream, right? So when the data is for ETH, I'm getting ETH USCT as a symbol here. When it's Cardano, I'm getting ADA and so on. So with that, I'm getting a recommendation for that symbol. And I also want to extract the current price. So I'm accessing K line and the close price here. And now I want to have a feedback, right? So this is optional. You don't necessarily need to do that. So I'm defining a string recommendation for taking string formatting again. So first placeholder will be my symbol and then is and second one will be my recommendation. So I'm providing data symbol here and the recommendation stored here. Okay. Next, I wanna just print out the current price. So I'm just taking a string current price off. Then I'm taking placeholder again is 
taking the second placeholder and provide again the symbol and the close price stored in this variable. Okay. Okay, this is my feedback for each data point. And now I need to implement my buy-in logic. And first of all, I want to check if the value in the dictionary is zero, right? So I can just check if not postdict for the current symbol in the stream. So I'm just screening for, let's say, uh, ETH in the dictionary. In this case, I'm getting a zero. So if not, and I'm getting the feedback that I'm currently not in a position, okay? And then I have to check and reckon in, and we have two buying uh, recommendations in this library, right? Buy and strong buy, so I'm checking both. You can also check only one, right? As always, you can do amendments, whatever you think are making sense. So I'm just checking, okay, do I have a buy or strong buy recommendation? And if both conditions are fulfilled, so if I'm not in a position, if my position value, current position value is zero for that symbol and I'm getting a buy recommendation, I wanna store the current close value in my dictionary, right? So what I just explained. So I wanna set the position digged value for the symbol to the current close. And I'm doing a typecast as well here. So this is stored in a, as a string currently. So this is why I'm doing a flow typecast here. Okay, so with that, I'm setting the value for let's say ETH to the buy price, right? And I also wanna have feedback I've bought for the close price, right? Okay, with that, as said, if I'm getting, if I'm not in a position and I'm getting a buy recommendation, I'm setting the uh, value for the this particular key to the current close price. And with that, I've stored my buy price. This is my buying logic. And now my selling logic. Selling logic will be, if I am in a position, so I can just copy paste this one here. If I am in a position, so if there is a value, which is different from zero, and my recommendation is in sell or strong sell, then I wanna re calculate the return, right? And how do I calculate the return? As I just explained when creating the dictionary, I'm taking the current close price. So I'm taking the current close price as a float minus the stored buy price in the dictionary. So I'm just going to take it like so. And set that integration to the buy price, which is in the dictionary. And I'm going to store that in a variable, which I'm calling return. And this is the return of the trade. And now I'm calling my file writer function on data, provide the return. And with that, I'm writing the return for the current symbol into my file. And I also want to set my dictionary value to zero again, because I've closed that trade I've sold. Right, so I'm taking position, then screen for the symbol and set that to zero. And get the feedback sold for the current close price. All right, and that's all it. So we can run this, let's do it. And with that, we have implemented uh, what we wanted to do, right? So now you see, recommendation for, we bought something, Medic, because we have a strong buy value here. Bought GRT. Bought Soul, 
board ETH, board AVEX, and so on. Finally, you will need to run that over some hours or even better some days or weeks. Quite interesting as well would be to take the signals as entries but take a target profit or stop loss as the exit instead. As always, play around with that, extend that to other intervals, include more cryptos. Let me know your insights or thoughts below. I will post the results after some hours in the community tab if you're interested. Thank you all much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.